phase three was difficult. It was really hard for me. I mean, uh, it not hard in the fact that it was hard on in the area of knowing that I needed to get real. Phase three covering my my RS steps. You know, a lot of it result was excuse me revolving around my wife in just this recent 2016 2017 2018 years uh where i caught a prison term and uh and, you know it was like i was a part of my family's life in one moment and then just like that i was gone and it, it broke me it really shattered the inner core of who i was because my kids were the ones uh who were the recipients of the suffering and my wife once again had to do it on her own and that's what i want to do i want to acknowledge my wife because she has truly been there through uh, my all my prison terms several different treatment centers uh, being absent from home being absent from my kids life her carrying on the uh, role of both mom and dad and having to do it financially and uh, that's a lot for a woman to take on and i i want to commend her uh, that she still remains by my side and she is truly the image of what loyal looks like and uh, and you know faithfulness and, and love and forgiveness and I, I am truly grateful to have a woman like her in my life and, and, and you know I, I met her in eighth grade and I just uh, you know over the years you know we've gone our different ways but she's always been there for me. I'm thinking about my my men's and I'm thinking about my RS's, but my RS's, I remember walking down and writing down several different things that I had done in my past and just hunching over and I couldn't hold it in anymore. I had to just let it out and I began to weep and I just weeped and I just cried and I just realized how disgusted I was with who I became when I used drugs and uh, because I knew in my heart that that's not truly who I was. I knew that. I have. I felt like I had a good heart, and there were really good times that I did share with my wife and kids, and and growing up playing sports. But being able to write these uh, responsibility steps down and look at them firsthand, I was like, wow! I can't believe that I've carried all of this dirt all these years because I've never done a more extensive, uh, you know. RS step in my entire life in, in any of the treatment centers and I would have to commend that that was one area that I knew that I needed to get real in. Today I don't have to live like that, I don't have to think like that anymore, I don't have to be that that person portraying this image of this false image, you know, and I'm, I'm letting all that down and, um, and I'm letting it all go and I'm allowing myself to be a father again and to be a husband uh, and to be truly who I've been destined to be, and that's a uh, clean and sober, successful businessman, and uh, you know, just an all-around good citizen, and, and treating others as I would like to be treated. So thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate it. everybody here who's helped me to achieve this, and I look forward to next week's graduation. We believe that you should empower the individual mm -hmm. and that we need to show them what went wrong and then give them their power back so that they can tackle addiction as an issue and overcome that. With your program, how successful are you? And so we track them all the way through the program and then after the program. And last year we ranked number one in the entire nation based off of success and overall results. So if people wanted to get more information, where do they go? ElevateRehab.org.